what is going on guys welcome to the channel in today's episode i'm gonna show you seven different talent trees for thea thea is a flying legendary hero added in the previous update in today's episode i'm gonna give you seven different talent trees and you can pick the best one that works well for you make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already turn on the bell notification and never miss out like the video share it with your friends let's get it started Thea is a legendary flying hero which means you can use her with any of the flying troop types from all the three factions. You can use her with the Celestials, you can use Thea with the Weaven Riders, you can use Thea with the Flying Eagles. She is classified as overall which means you can use her with any of the flying troop types from all the three factions. We shall begin the video by doing a quick overview of Thea. She is overall, PvP and support. We're gonna have a bunch of different talent trees to work with. Thea can be used with Atheus for the magic faction. She can be used with Craig for both the Spring Warden and the Wilderberg. When you check out Craig, his skills are not specific to marksmen. Therefore, you can use Craig and Thea for the Flying Eagles. When we go over the rage skill, Thea's legion gain a shield that absorb a large amount of damage. Shield factor 1000 for 5 seconds, while also gaining synergy, increasing hero skill damage dealt by 15%, ends when a rage skill is cast. I still don't know how this second part of this rage skill work, but when I find out, I'll make a video about it. Now the shield factor is 1000, skill damage dealt bonus is 15%. I am not sure if it's gonna work with the secondary hero, that's something we have to find out. Going over to the second skill, while in the field, Thea's legion attack is increased by 15% and they take 15% less hero skill damage. Very good defensive hero. This is one hell of a great talent. When we go to the third skill, Purging Wind, Thea's legion defense is increased by up to 20%. When her legion is composed entirely of flying units, their march speed is increased by 20%. You get 20% march speed if you use her with either Flying Eagles, Celestials or the Wyvern Riders. Going on to the fourth talent, Lex Lucis. When Thea's Legion gain a shield, their attack is increased by 10% up to a maximum of 30%. This is going to be very useful when you use with Craig. Now overall Thea is an excellent hero, when we check out the Awakening, grants a shield to two nearby friendly legions, including Thea's legion, that absorbs a large amount of damage for 5 seconds, shield factor 1000. Thea's legion also gains synergy, increasing hero skill damage dealt by 15%, which ends when a rage skill is cast. Now this hero becomes insane when you awaken. She can do damage, I mean she can provide defense for up to two nearby friendly legions. This is awesome. It's gonna be great for your moddable. Definitely a hero you need to max out in Call of Dragons. What can I say about Thea? She is basically a legendary Iliana, or should I say, a good version of Madeline. Thea can provide defense to all of your heroes in the game. You can use her as a secondary for all of your other troop types to provide some defense. Excellent hero. I definitely recommend you to work on this hero. Now let's check out some of the talent trees. Talent tree 1 on the list is gonna be PvP 1. Basically you go all the way and grab the last PvP points and then you pick some from the support. Let's see what we grabbed. Starting off from the foundational talents, pick this one, pick this one, make your way up. Now let's go to the support section and see what's so great about it. Starting off with the HP from here and then we're gonna grab Adrenaline Rush. Your Legion deals 0.8% more normal attack damage which is great for this hero since she does not have an actual skill damage factor. This will be useful. We're gonna come here and pick increase the defense of your Legion. Now this is gonna work against all attacks like artifacts, rage skill, normal attack. That's why I would pick this one. You have this one which is great. And this one which is also good. Now this one is gonna increase your shield granted. More defense. Overall I decided to pick this one. Now we're gonna come over here with these two skills. 
which one should you pick i did not pick this one because it takes 20 seconds i don't like it i go with this one over here every time your legion gains a buff effect their hp increases by 0.5 percent up to a maximum of three percent you can easily get this one within the first 10 seconds of the match which is great that's why i pick it over this one now let's go over to the pvp section starting off with here you have attack you have more normal attack increase the rage skill of your hero unfortunately thea does not have a rage skill damage factor you might want to pick this one but overall this is good we're gonna come here and we're gonna grab some more defense for thea if you don't like the defense you can go with this one get more attack through the match you have some counter attack damage which is excellent more damage more damage and then we come to the end here not very compelling pick whichever one works well for you in my case i decided to go with this one and this ladies and gentlemen is pvp talent tree number one for thea talent tree number two on the list will be called pvp2 this one is pretty much the same as the previous one except this time we're gonna go in the overall direction and grab some good stuff from here as usual pick whatever works well for you from here make your way up now let's go to the overall direction we have hp we have more attack we have normal attack damage now you want to pick this because thea does not have a rage skill damage factor so i think this one will work well overall you can still go with this one get more increase in troop count now when we come over here with this one you're gonna get four additional rage like every one second i don't know if that's gonna be enough you need 1000 to do a rage skill overall i would recommend this one when your legion enters battle they gain resistance reducing the damage they take by four percent for 10 seconds now when you fight people you run away you come back you fight you run away you come back you can activate this skill i mean this talent a lot more often now we push over to the pvp section we have this one we have this one we have rage skill if you don't want it you can go for this now from here you can pick either more attack or you can grab some defense you have counter attack over here more damage more damage and then from here you can pick whichever one tickles your bones i went with this one kind of looks great that's pretty much it for this talent tree on to the next one talent tree number three will be called support one so basically you go all the way to the end grab one of the support points from here and then for this one we're gonna go all the way to the overall let's see what we have as usual pick what you like from here now we got hp over here we have more normal attack damage we have increases the defense of your units by 0.4 percent which is great from here we're gonna take this one called the force field looks awesome here we're gonna grab some more skill damage even though this hero does not have a skill damage factor i think this might be useful otherwise you can go and grab some you know defense for you or get some healing now this one reduces your attack by 0.3 percent and increase the defense by 0.6 percent i would skip out on this one now we're gonna come here and we're gonna grab this scale over here your legion deals 0.3 percent more damage in the field now over here you can decide to go defensive or you can pick this one and then when you come over here you grab this scale over here when the hero's legion is healed it deals skill damage to the target legion damage factor 150 this effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds when you see this talent tree i have an arrow pointing to this talent right here so you're gonna put one point here because when your hero reaches level 60 and you have copied this talent tree you should have one point left you can put it here and activate this one so with this one it's gonna help you do this one as well so they work well together another thing is if you have atheists atheists can also activate this talent right here if you don't have atheists this is something to pick up it's gonna help you activate this talent giving you 150 skill damage factor 
and that's it for this talent tree in the support direction let's check out the next one next talent tree on the list will be called support 2 so you do support and then you grab some stuff from the pvp we already know what to put here this is these are the points that we picked grab this one take this one right here activate this one with one point now we go here reduce the hero skill damage take this one which is going to work with this one they work well together and we all, and we also have this one right here now when, when we go to the pvp direction we have attack we have more normal attack we have rage skill and then i decided to go with defense as always you can pick this one if you think it works well for you that's it for this tree let's check out the next one support number three this talent tree is a small variation from the previous one starting off from here pick what works well for you and then we go in the support direction we made some simple changes everything is the same as the previous one except we came and we grabbed this one over here and then in the pvp direction you go with the attack damage so this one pretty much is going to be for getting you more damage in the field and as always activate this one with one point and then get this one right here these two will work together and give you more damage talent tree number six called the overall basically we go all the way to the end in the overall direction and then we grab some points from the support i don't really recommend the overall talent tree because it is not that great everything after these points everything after these two points is pretty much kind of useless so let's see what we are working with as usual pick whatever works well for you from here and then we're gonna come over here the overall section we have this we grab this one we got this one and then we got this one now let's see the last remaining points of the overall again they are not very compelling the overall is designed specifically for a single troop type so this is something you might want to stay away from it is gonna be good for rallies like i see this point here is good for rally this one is good for infantry this one is good for marksmen this one is good for magic this one is good for cavalry and then this one right here i don't really like it even the last two points they don't look that great let's see them when your legion unit count is less than 50 percent they deal two percent more damage this is a good one this is one i would pick what about this one when casting rage skill your legion gains skin and shelter increasing their attack by four percent and their defense by three percent for five seconds this effect can be triggered once every 30 seconds again 30 seconds is a lot of time in open field where people run away you might never use this one you might never use this one in the field therefore i would go with this one cornered cut that's it from the overall direction coming to the support we already discussed it we have this we have this grab this one take this one and this talent tree is complete i don't really recommend it overall used for rally are you gonna rally someone with thea i don't really think so talent tree number seven called the overall two pretty much the same thing as the previous one this time we come in the pvp direction you already know the things that we picked from here and this ladies and gentlemen are all the talent trees for thea i wouldn't recommend the overall direction i mean like going all the way in the overall unless you're trying to rally someone with this hero now with all the points when you fill them up you're gonna have one point left you can put it anywhere you want thank you guys for watching the video if you're new subscribe to the channel until then we shall meet again in the next one peace out